someone once told me that the best gun you can have in a gunfight is the one in your hand, and to a point I can agree with that. However, my dad's motto rings true in my head quite often, and that is, you get what you pay for. So without actually mentioning what brand this uh, particular firearm is in this uh, clip, I will say this. You want to you want to have a very dependable, functional, um, and easy to maintain, or at least a gun that you're very familiar with in your hand. One that you can trust that will work every single time. And for beginners, I always recommend the Glocks because of their ease of maintenance um, and functionality and, of course, dependability. And that's why uh, my family, especially with um, so many women in my immediate family, my wife and my daughters, that's why we trust, uh, that's why we all use Glocks. And today we're going to be taking a look at my wife's gun, the Glock 19. Alright everyone, welcome to the first uh, installment of the series I like to call The Gun Show. Now today we are looking at my wife's Glock 19. Um, this is a 9mm uh, caliber handgun. Uh, this is a Gen 4. And I basically uh, got this for... Because... I'll, I'll say this to anybody who's uh, looking into self-defense or getting anything for prepping. Uh, basically, Glocks are great guns, for the, for especially for beginners. Um, my wife, she's a beginner, so um, she uh, has been uh, learning how to use her handgun. Um, I see since I've been on my uh, trip, she hasn't uh, gone out and shot as much as I hoped she would. Uh, but hopefully uh, she will uh, start going uh, to the range more often while I'm not home. Um, but uh, this one I, I purchased for her uh, simply because, you know, I've, I'm gone all the time. I, she needed something to protect herself. And uh, I knew she was comfortable with a 9mm. I uh, personally carry a 45, and so um, she tried shooting the 45. It didn't work for her, so uh, this one actually works. Now, uh, the most common this the 9 millimeter handgun is a very common weapon amongst um, preppers um, and really in the general public. It's one of the more uh, common calibers that you'll actually find out there. Uh, the ammunition is uh, rather cheap and uh, plentiful um, and uh, so far um, you can get it without actually thinking too hard about it now let's go over the uh, Glock 19 Gen 4 um, this one is a little different than uh, all the others um, this one has an enhanced uh, sight on the front which makes it easier to target without the distraction of the sights in the rear um, it also has an enhanced um, enhanced uh, slide release for taking apart the uh, handgun here. Anybody that has shot or taken apart a Glock or owned a Glock know that uh, these are a pain in the uh, rear um, to mess with when you're trying to uh, clean your gun. You also have a uh, you know your slide lock right here and of course the um, double trigger basically I call I like to call it double trigger but it's basically a trigger um, where Glock safety features is one of their safety features you cannot pull the uh, trigger back just by the side you have to actually push this down uh, push this middle part down in order to uh, fire the weapon now uh, there is nothing there's no magazine in here. However, with gun safety, we're going to check and make sure that it is um, totally unloaded. So, hold on. 
Okay, so uh, doing our uh, check here to make sure the firearm's completely unloaded, nothing in the barrel, no magazine, so nothing in the chamber. So this gun is completely and safe, completely safe at this moment. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and head out to uh, the range and uh, see exactly how uh, well she did with uh, with the firearm and how easy uh, how easy it is uh, for her to use the weapon. All right, we'll see you guys at the range. Okay, now right away I could tell that she hadn't been to the range uh, as often as she should. Um, I noticed that she had some, uh, she had developed some uh, habits that needed to be broken. For instance, she is, um, I guess, not holding the weapon properly. I had to work with her on that. Um, and you'll see a difference between here at this moment and later on in the video. Uh, her grip is more secure, um, and one other thing that she does that most beginner shooters and even um, some more intermediate shooters tend to do, um, not as much intermediates can do it, but not as often as beginners, and that is anticipate the recoil. Do not anticipate the recoil. You'll miss every single time. And so... That's what I was working on, and that's why you'll see some rather abrupt cuts um, with us being at the range, because I am sitting there uh, having to pause the camera, coach her, and then pick up the camera and start filming again. Anticipating to recoil as much, and that's the great thing about the uh, nine millimeter uh, caliber handgun. Um, anybody, especially um, women and even children, can actually shoot this uh, weapon and develop um, develop the skills quicker uh, because it doesn't have as much recoil as, say, the forty, the forty-five, um, and it allows them. Once the weapon fires, they can easily zero back in on the target uh, much quicker in the case that they need to take more than uh, one or two shots. So that's the video, guys. Thank you guys for stopping in, checking us out. Um, please leave uh, any comments, questions at the bottom. Also, please like, um, share, and subscribe, and please share the videos. Click the notification bell. That way you can uh, keep, uh, that way you're posted on every time we post a video. Um, also check out my new channel, The Theory, uh, here on YouTube, and we are also expanding to minds.com, M-I-N-D-S.com, gab.com. Uh, we are also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook, 
um, at Black Prepper Society and the Survivor's Edge, um, both uh, on Facebook. And don't forget to check us out on on uh, Twitter at CEO Prepper. And that's it. Again, like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. Also, click the little red button. Or, I'm sorry, click the little red bell. That way, you guys are getting our latest videos as they come out. And that's it. You guys be safe out there. And uh, now you have the survivor's edge.